Incorporated! You all began on the day of my actual birth. Both of my parents failed to show up. By the age of five, I was forced to throw my own surprise party at Gunter Goat Cheeses, the goat cheesiest place in all of Drusselstein. Many of my closest friends were there. Count Wolfgang, Betty the Shebor, Rat Putin, and the Lice Twins, Olga and Chicago Joe. Hello, boys and... Oh, mm, awkward. Uh, hey, kid, lock up when you're done. Okay? Times for my father and our beloved lawn gnome was repossessed. Who would protect our Zots and Fruit Garden from witches, spells, and wood trolls? From a tender age, my father decided that it would be me. While the other children played kick the stomp on and ate dunko berries, I would stand for hours. All through the cold night, as the Spitzenhound howled, my only companion was the moon. As a young boy, my mother would never let me swim in public pools. No. Since my, my childhood, my parents were expecting a brand new baby girl. My mother spent months knitting pretty dresses. Unfortunately, the baby turned out to be a boy, and because we were out of material, I was forced to wear those same dresses for an entire year, drawing mockery and scorn from all of my manly classmates. Young, I entered a science fair with my very first Inator. I, was, I wasn't very clever with names yet. It was just, you know, Inator. Just as I was about to demonstrate my invention to the judges, a kid with a baking soda volcano stole the show! Next year, I tried again with my even bigger Anator, and again, my thunder was stolen by a baking soda volcano! Although I loved painting, my muse was sometimes inaccessible. Then one day, just as I was about to give up in frustration, inspiration struck. I was up for three days straight, gripped in glorious artistic fever, and finally, my masterpiece. I rushed across the street to get my brother Roger. He was in the middle of his favorite meal. A sloppy joe, greasy french fries with ketchup, grape juice, coffee, and chocolate pudding. But I insisted he come at once. That day, I made a solemn vow that Roger would pay for what he'd done. The next